a long, long time ago, there was this game called Hidden and Dangers. The first one. I played it when I was little and it was a fantastic game. Then there was the second one, way more popular and better in every way and I never played that one. Because I didn't know it existed, cause I lived in my own bubble. The first game was surprisingly complex and well executed considering when it was made. And the Czech version had a legendary voiceover by one of the best voice actors, Pavel Rinsky. Who can often be heard in war documentaries, so his voice was very fitting for a war action shooter. Let me just show you briefly what a briefing section looked and sounded like. Remember, the game was released in 1999. Primární cíl? Dorazit na místo setkání s odbojáři. Jedná se o jeden z posledních železničních mostů, které ještě v této oblasti stojí. Tomu odpovídá i jeho ostraha. Dvojčlenná hlídka neustále chodí po mostě. Kromě toho je na obou koncích mostu strážnice, ve které určitě budou zálohy. This game was oozing with great atmosphere, filled with dread and tension, it was also very hard, so I never made it too far, but still have great memories playing it. There was a mission that I took for my inspiration today, so let me present to you what this scenario is about. It's quite short, mostly cause this is again a demonstration, or just a small part of an actual mission, but hopefully it's good enough, anyway. You start in the middle of a small village slash city, deep behind enemy lines. Your main task is to get a vehicle, proceed further into the island and remain undercover. Your secondary, optional but highly recommended task is to get some civilian clothing. The town is under night curfew and there are police members and army soldiers patrolling the streets. Some people can go out, so find an appropriate outfit, like a paramedic, car technician, pizza delivery boy or something similar and pretend that you belong. Hopefully you will sneak past the guards before they realize what's going on. There are a few cars near the center of the town, so your best chance is to get one there, hop in and drive away. If you get caught in your military uniform or with your weapon, the guards will alert the entire town and you will have no chance of getting away alive. Once you obtain the civilian clothes, just act natural, don't be weird and don't provoke the guards. If you hang around them too much or wander around them for too long, they will eventually recognize you, so be calm, fast and confident. Once you manage to get a car, drive away from the town and onto a bridge that leads to the main island, where this short presentation ends. A regular mission could continue there, but I want to focus only on the first part, on the stealth bit right here. I believe given some more time and careful level design, this could be a very nice segment, expanded into a full mission that could be in a short campaign maybe, more on that later, now back to the idea. The mission should start with a brief overview showing the player where exactly the mission takes place. The player is told to find some civilian clothes, find a car and get out of the town. And then the player finds themselves behind a fence in a semi-hidden location and is left to figure things out. Eventually the player can find some clothes and also a car. Once they hop in, they can just simply drive away. If you know exactly what to do, you can finish the entire quote-unquote mission in about 2 minutes. However, the time is not important here. You can expand the mission if you want to. The important part here is creating a gun-free, yet interesting and tense gameplay. If you shoot your gun, you will be discovered quickly. You are massively outnumbered. And yet, you can't just hide or run away. Instead, you have to get close to your enemies and hope for the best. A typical formula of any horror game can be pretty effective here as well, of course, if you do everything right. 
Another important thing here is to leave the player on their own. Without a full briefing, a base camp just behind the town, constant radio connection and any reinforcements, I want the player to feel alone. And I intentionally don't want to give the player any waypoints or indicators for where they are supposed to go. Let the player figure this out. Now of course this is not entirely true. I only need to make the illusion that the player is alone when in fact the environment and the level design guide the player and help them out. For example, the starting area is fairly far away from any danger, has many walls that the player can feel safe behind and has only one exit, so the player always knows where to start. Right outside this area are a couple soldiers in the middle of a street, showing the player where not to go. Of course, if I was an actual level designer, I could most definitely do a much better job here. But since my options are limited, I at least try to guide the player to the right place using enemy patrols at the places I don't want the player to go and using the environment as much as possible to make a sensible path. Also, the mission area is quite small, only a couple streets, so there aren't too many options for the player to pick from. There are actually two locations for the close pickup. Both reward the player exploring and putting themselves in danger. Once the player gets dressed, they just need to find a suitable car, in this case a service car, the only one with bright yellow colors and lights on the roof, but it could also be a specific car or a boat. And now the gameplay changes slightly. The player no longer needs to hide, instead they need to pretend like they are an actual civilian and walk past a couple soldiers without raising too much suspicion. This could also be quite a tense moment and once again I want to leave everything in the player's hands while also guiding them to the right place using object placement. Right from the start I want to emphasize the parking lot right in the middle of the town where you would expect most cars to be. I want the place to be well lit and if you find clothes in the alley there's a stairwell that takes you up to the roof and directly above the car you need. The faraway places are blocked off by guards, sandbags and other obstructions just to indicate where not to go. Once you get inside a car, it's mostly just about getting away, there isn't anything special here. I can only hope that at this point the player has scared themselves, so they will see it as an unnerving escape. So this is the design, now let me briefly mention the code at play here. There are two different detection systems and each one has a couple small functions that all work together for a flawed but decent enough system. The first one works before you obtain civilian clothes and it's a fairly simple one, it just checks if you are too close to another unit. There are two triggers around the player, the larger one picks soldiers that are considered close enough to run the other checks on them and the smaller one detects when a player is too close and gets detected. This smaller trigger changes size based on player's stance, so you get detected from further away if you are standing up, but crouching you can get a bit closer. Say this system somewhat simulates hearing and general awareness, there's also one system simulating sight. 
if you are relatively close in front of another soldier and within direct line of sight, you get spotted from further away than with the other system. Once you get dressed and become a civilian, a fairly similar script starts checking the player's position and behavior. Once again, it takes nearby soldiers, but this time each soldier is assigned an awareness meter. And this meter gradually fills up depending on a bunch of things. It checks player's proximity to the soldier, whether the player is within the soldier's field of vision, whether the player is behind an object, it also checks the player's stance, and there are a couple extra checks for several specific animations, such as saluting or sitting down, cause these will draw a lot of attention, and of course, checks for the player's weapon and uniform. Once all of these are done, the script calculates the soldier's awareness. Proximity raises suspicion only a little, and you can be around for quite a while, but if you get too close, they will discover you more quickly. Crouching or lying down is a quick way to die, Saluting you can get away with maybe once, and of course having a weapon instantly alerts all nearby soldiers. So generally speaking, you can walk around the city, or run, and if you stay a bit away from the soldiers and don't provoke them, you will be fine. Once you start behaving in odd ways, they will quickly figure things out. Once you get in the car, the same awareness script still runs, but now your stance and animation no longer matter. But distance from soldiers is way more important. If you stay too close to someone, they will recognize you and open fire. So while in the car, you want to be rather quick. Of course, there's a couple extra conditions, such as firing your weapon instantly reveals your position and killing someone either by shooting or hitting them with your car is also an instant loss. You can try to fight the soldiers, the mission doesn't just instantly end, but good luck, there's many of them, two armored vehicles and you still need the car to escape. Once you mess up and get revealed, all soldiers become hostile, aware of your position and get a boost to their skill. That's about all the code there is in the mission. Just a couple extra notes regarding this scenario, the detection system isn't great, I'm aware but it's good enough to serve as a base for something actually decent and some stuff can be configured by just changing the detection radius or the severity of some actions and the soldier's awareness values. Secondly, the action to change your clothes is currently done through add action, primarily because it's the simplest trick and manually equipping a civilian uniform is impossible in the base game. So you have to either grab a mod, some complex script or find any other way around this. Since I wanted to focus more on other stuff, I wanted to find the fastest solution possible. Of course, you can do this in a much more elegant way. Funny note number one, when you press the action, there's a command that removes the player's uniform and equips a specific civilian one. I didn't want to search the class name of the civilian uniform, so I put down a civilian in desired clothes and reference him in the code instead of the uniform class name. Funny note number two, there's a speedrun route. If you turn around at the start and run to the nearby shack, you can actually crawl under and get instant access to a vehicle. Now, since you still have your original uniform, the soldiers are way more likely to spot you. But if you are good enough, maybe you can get through them, or you can quickly park the vehicle in the middle of the city and get your civilian clothing with a vehicle already parked right next to you. So there are some possibilities for a speedrun of this mission. Now, do I expect that someone will speedrun a random Arma 3 mission? Of course not. But I want to provide potential players with options. And if it takes as little as placing a couple of objects to create a hidden but potentially very quick route through the mission, I'm in. No player will get through this gap on the first try. So they will experience the mission as it's supposed to be played. But if there ever is someone who wants to get through this quickly, they have the option to do so. For example, if this mission is a part of a campaign, maybe the campaign is well done so people may play it for fun several times. Now they have the option to skip the boring, non-shooting part and finish this mission even faster than usual. Well anyway, that's it. Feel free to do whatever you wish with this. Hopefully it will inspire you to make something fantastic. I wish you all the best and I'll see you another time.